hello guys welcome back and so as you know the neat dates have been announced neat is supposed to be held on september 12th this year in 2021 okay so uh, no, not a lot of time is remaining uh, you might have started your revisions uh, as well so i'll tell you some of the important topics which you need to revise before your exams uh for, so that you can concentrate more on your what is important like biology biology is 50% of your syllabus so you should give more importance to biology and read every each and every chapter each and every line of biology and crt because all the questions will be from there but in chemistry and physics there are certain topics which uh, you can if you have time you sh uh, you should uh, read the entire ncrt one second but if you are on short uh, short on time or uh, you are a slow reader uh, then just read important topics from physics and chemistry so i'll tell you which chapters and which topics are important let's start with first some basic concepts of chemistry this chapter you can expect at least one to two questions this chapter the weightage of this chapter have been dropped from before uh, a lot of questions were asked prior but uh, in recent times uh, this chapter has lost its importance but still uh, stoichiometry and stoichiometric calculation and mole concept are very very important topics you need to be very thorough with your mole concept and stoichiometry because two questions will be sure from these the number of uh, molecules present which has the greatest number of molecules or they will give you a reaction you will have to find the limiting reagent or whatever but these topics are very important uh, certain topics like uh, this law of chemical combinations might also be asked but not very much you have if you have time you can read other topics like this uncertainty and this measurement they are in your physics syllabus so they are not asked in chemistry okay so we are done with some basic concepts one to two questions you can uh, expect from this topic structure of atom you can expect two questions from structure of atoms okay Mm, the most 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 important topic uh, is quantum mechanical model of atom be very careful about your concepts of uh, atomic orbitals and all uh, and the probability of finding electrons what are this the things so be very 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 thorough with your quantum mechanical model of atom in recent times 18 questions have been asked from this single topic okay uh, other topics uh, of this chapter you see this is very spread out topics but developments leading to Bohr model of atom like your Planck's and Heisenberg's and all uh, these also are important more important in fact than actual Bohr model uh, because your series uh, this Lyman, Passion, Barma series these are asked uh, way more often than actual Bohr model questions okay mm, so you need to be very thorough with your Planck's and Heisenberg's and all these concepts next we see the classification of elements and periodicity in properties one question you can expect and sure shot this question is coming from periodic trends uh, sometimes they give from nomenclature only one question has been asked uh, in recent times actually in need 2020 only one question had been asked from uh, this nomenclature but otherwise you are sure shot to get a uh, question from this topic only periodic trends of properties of elements so be very thorough with periodic trends one question is sure shot from there now let's uh, let's see chemical bonding and molecular structure three questions is very important uh, topic three questions from this chapter only mm, we th very thorough with hybridization uh, and molecular orbital theory because molecular orbital theory includes this one as well so so you need to be very thorough with all these three topics hybridization molecular orbital theory okay uh, some other topics include bond parameters bond parameters uh, these topics were asked uh, pr very early uh, like Westford theory and balance bond theory they were asked uh, in 1990s and 2000s th that time but now they have lost their importance a lot not many many questions were asked from there but bond parameters uh, it has assumed more importance like which has which has the longer bond length which is the larger atom and all these things you need to be very thorough with 
now let's talk about states of matter one question you can expect from states of matter it is always from ideal gas equations be very thorough with your ideal gas equation pv equals to nrt uh, in your application of this uh, equation because this equation is sure shot is one question uh, sometimes question are asked from real gases as well but uh, mostly it will be asked from ideal gas equation in your states of matter topic other topics are there in this like kinetic energy uh, and molecular speeds this kinetic molecular theory liquefaction of gases but these are more important in your physics syllabus rather than chemistry syllabus in physics you can expect a lot of questions from these topics but not in chemistry chemistry just be very thorough with your ideal gas equations now in thermodynamics thermodynamics is actually a very 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 difficult topic for me uh, some might uh, say that it is easier for them but it is very conceptual so uh, it is not like you can study one topic from thermodynamics and then leave the rest you have to study the entire concept of thermodynamics otherwise uh, you won't be able to um, solve the questions but uh, if you don't have time then spontaneity is a very important topic from thermodynamics as well as applications of thermodynamics like what is you need to identify from the graphs like isobaric and hyperbaric uh, all these which one is isochoric which one is this uh, and uh, if the reaction is spontaneous or not that that you should uh, be able to decipher but otherwise stating I will tell you to study the entire thermodynamics as it is uh, the entire topic rather than just studying for part of the topic because uh, you will not be able to understand much from studying just part okay next equilibrium equilibrium is a very 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 important chapter and you see the questions are very spread out from this topic like uh, 5, 1, 2, 1, 3, 6 uh, all these uh, most of these topics can be asked from equilibrium they are asked in recent times as well uh, but uh, if you don't have time then uh, law of chemical equilibrium and equilibrium constant writing and equilibrium constant you should know that mm, then and ionic equilibrium is very important the uh, calculation of pH of acid base and ionization of bases ionization of buffers calculating pH of buffers uh, solubility these are these topics are more important than your actual chemical equilibrium the ionic equilibrium you need to be very thorough with your ionic equilibrium portion of this equilibrium chapter question might also be asked from this factors affecting equilibrium recent times questions are being asked from this also so you read that topic as well now in redox reaction this chapter has assumed importance in uh, recent times because no almost no questions were asked but now a sure shot one question will be asked from this oxidation number uh, you should be able to uh, write the oxidation number of uh, a given element or you should be able to balance the redox reaction by using the these methods oxidation number methods and all one question will be there from this topic only now hydrogen hydrogen one question will be there from hydrogen this topic as well it was not asked at all this is the like the least important chapter but recently you can get one question sure shot and uh, you cannot uh, say from where the question is going to come okay it can come from water, it can come from hydrides, and come from properties. All these are recent questions in 2018, 19, 17. These questions were asked from hydrogen peroxide, heavy water. Uh, so you cannot tell uh, which topic they are going to ask. Uh, so it is better to study the entire portion uh, just once, read it, so that the questions are not very hard from this chapter. So if you read it once, it will be very clear for you now s block as well they have started asking from very obscure portions like this anomalous properties and all they were never asked before but now you can get like one questions from that has been asked in recent times and biological importance as well two questions had been asked they were never asked before so and the important is general characteristics of both uh, alkali metals and alkaline earth metals you should be thorough with that and uh, some important compounds of sodium and calcium might also be asked so you cannot tell uh, from inorganic chemistry what topic will be asked they can ask from anywhere from in the ncrt so just read it once they may lay more stress on these general characteristics and important compounds now in p block you can get one question from here uh, this is also an example of very obscure uh, topics like 
boron and anomalous properties of boron they were never asked before they were actually not there in the syllabus as well uh, in uh, latest times they are asking these um, important comp uh, compounds of uh, carbon and silicon um, they can also be asked uh, in a long time ago they used to ask from this topic allotropes of carbon a lot of questions were uh, used to be coming from there but in recent time no question has been coming from this allotropes of carbon portion so you can skip that one but uh, this recent this carbon family and boron family questions for uh, comparison of size and all they, they are giving recently so be thorough with that in organic chemistry basic uh, principles and techniques this is also a very very important although questions are not asked but if you skip this chapter you won't be able to understand any other uh, organic chemistry chapter so this chapter is very important uh, you should know nomenclature you should know isomerism this is there are only seven questions and three questions but uh, this will be your uh, basic concept of organic chemistry if you don't know nomenclature no questions of organic chemistry you can solve okay mm, so concepts of reaction mechanism this is very 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 important uh, topic as well in recent times they have been asking from this topics purification of organic compounds and qualitative and quantitative analysis they they were not asked usually they were ignored topics they are also not taught in several institutions like that um, because they are not asked but in recent times they have started asking questions like two questions from here two questions from here three questions from here they have they are all recent questions okay uh, so just to be safe you should read these topics as well I mean hydrocarbons, alkene, alkane and alkyne all have uh, equal importance as well as aromatic hydrocarbons. This chapter is very important. You can get three questions from here. Uh, so read the entire chapter I would say. Environmental chemistry, this chapter was also not at all important. These never questions were asked from this chapter. But in recent times one question is sure shot from this chapter and it will definitely come from atmospheric pollution in smog so just read atmospheric pollution if you're unlucky they might give from any other portion as well these uh, they are the, they are very unpredictable they can give from like in 2008 and uh, they gave one question suddenly from green chemistry uh, so you cannot say wh what they are going to do but uh, to be safe just study atmospheric pollution because most questions come from there so now let's start with the 12th syllabus mm, firstly there is solid state so solid state the, the you can expect one to two questions actually this chapter was very important before but now its importance has dropped uh, in solid state uh, just uh, remember this closely packed structures and packing efficiency and also some calculations might be there for dimensions and all uh, so these three topics you, you should remember in the solid state chapter solutions is very easy job topic uh, only two questions will be asked um, but it will be easy marks uh, ideal and non ideal solution abnormal molar mass these were uh, these are important concentration of uh, solutions is also important the colligative properties it was very important before but now uh, this has dropped in importance more and ideal and non ideal solutions are asked a lot in the theoretical based questions are asked a lot so try to read this entire topic because it is very easy and you will be able to get two questions for free actually in electrochemistry also there will be two questions and mostly it will be coming from nurse equations uh, other than nurse equations read about conductance and this electrolysis and electrolytic cells and galvanic cells some questions might be uh, in recent times were asked from these obscure topics like this corrosion and fuel cells uh, if you are unlucky you might get some questions like that but uh, most mostly it will be asked from not equation and conductance and electrolytes the electrolytes itself so next is chemical kinetics again a very easy topic uh, so this, uh, and all the topics are actually important rate equations temperature dependence factors influencing rate of uh, uh, reaction and these are all important uh, now one topic in 2020 itself this is the only questions they ask from collision theory as well so read this entire topic if you will surface chemistry just read classification of colloids 
if you want you can read as option but most of the time one questions will be asked and it will be uh, from classification of collide itself principle and uh, principles and process of isolation of elements is actually metallurgy so metallurgy in recent times uh, they are asking from this thermodynamics a lot Mm, and there's they have started again classic NT has started to ask questions from like obscure topics like refining uh, so in 2019 I guess they suddenly gave a question from oxidation reduction itself or 2017 I forgot but uh, now occurrence of metals also they are asking so like that but most of the time uh, thermodynamic principles of metallurgy will only be asked now P block it is a very big chapter and on two to three questions will be asked from P block elements. Mm, I'll, the group 15 was actually uh, the most favorite topic in uh, uh, in organic chemistry for a lot of time. In in recent years, however, they have started giving less questions, only one question or two question in ten years. Uh, so they have started focusing more on this. Uh, group 16 actually sulfur dioxide oxo acids of sulfur uh, so uh, one important topic is oxo acids read all the oxo acids of uh, phosphorus uh, sulfur as well as halogens itself also group 18 elements group 17 elements general uh, general properties you should be able to uh, know now in d block uh, d block actually many people ignore this but two questions are there so don't ignore this topic uh, read this general properties and lanthanoids and also this important compounds of transition elements uh, the questions will usually come from these three topics itself now coordination compounds the two questions will be asked and one of the most important topics in entire chemistry is bonding of coordination compounds because a lot of questions are asked in recent times 22 questions have been asked in the last 10 years uh, so you see this is very important as well as isomerism isomerism is also very important in coordination compounds now hello now in organic chemistry what you need to do preparations and reactions nothing else uh, in halogen halkin and halorine uh, right know the method of preparation know the chemical reaction uh, in alcohol phenol ethyl know the chemical reactions of alcohol phenol and ethyl in aldehyde ketone carboxylic acid just know the preparation chemical reaction chemical reaction and preparation nothing else in amines also preparation and chemical reaction nothing else uh, and that means diazonium salt is also there so do, n you need to remember the chemical reaction of diazonium as well now biomolecules this is there in your bio uh, biology as well mm, carbohydrates and proteins are most important and other questions they are usually from biology you would know a lot about uh, vitamins and this nucleic acids so you will be able to solve this in chemistry as well Polymers only types of polymerization reaction some questions in recent times have been asked from biodegradable But you should know the uh, types of polymerization reaction in that topic chemistry of everyday life is actually Very hard topic because you have to memorize a lot mm, But only therapeutic reaction of different drugs were asked uh, in recent times. However uh, Some questions are asked from this cleansing agent like in 2020 only cleansing agents a question was asked in chemical and, and foods also in 2019 I guess it was asked uh, so read these two topics as well they might give you questions but so like that we have com covered almost uh, the entire syllabus uh, I have told you what are important I'll just review it mm, mole concept stoichiometry very important Quantum mechanical model very important developments leading to war model very important Classification only periodic trends will come Chemical bonding read about hybridization molecular orbital theory and bond parameters States of matter ideal gas equation only Maybe real gas equation as well if you have time Thermodynamics, I told you to read the entire topic, but spontaneity is very important as well as application of thermodynamics itself. Mm, equilibrium, go be thorough with ionic equilibrium as well as equilibrium constant. 
रेडक्स रिएक्शन नो ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर हाइड्रोजन दिस कैन कम फ्रॉम एनी वेयर एक्चुअली इट इज अप फॉर ग्रैप सो रीड द एंटायर वन जस्ट गिव वन रीड एज ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स गो फॉर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट कंपाउंड ऑफ सोडियम एंड कैल्शियम पी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स एज वेल a lot of questions has come from a lot of topics but go for the characteristic anomalous properties and some compounds as well organic chemistry you should know the concepts actually and actually questions usually come from nomenclature or reaction mechanisms hydrocarbon read the entire topic is very important environmental chemistry atmospheric pollution solid state just learn packing efficiency close pack structures just this you can learn try try to do some questions from here solubility uh, solutions is very easy topic colligative properties molar mass ideal non ideal solutions you should know electrochemistry just learn galvanic cells nernst equation electrolytic cells conductance chemical kinetics is very important topic do all of them but if you want you can only do these three topics as well surface chemistry do absorption and classification of colloids nothing else do thermodynamic principles of metallurgy only one question will come it can come from occurrence as well do that also p block oxo acids are very important oxo acids as well as general characteristic group 16 group 17 group 18 group 15 as well general characteristics dnf block do important compounds do general properties and lanthanides coordination compound must do bonding and isomerism hello alkenes and in entire chem organic chemistry just preparation and reactions just reactions and preparations entire organic chemistry just preparation reactions nothing else biomolecules do carbohydrates and proteins polymers types of polymerization reaction chemistry they thorough with uh, therapeutic action and like that you have reduced your just read this topics just revise this you should have read all these topics before as well in your preparation uh, now in revision you just go through all these topics and you will surely get your favorite pg uh, ug seat in your favorite college thank you